What's up guys, Wolf here. Welcome to another Division 2 video. In today's video, I want to talk about a buff to a weapon that has made builds a lot stronger now. And the reason is, is because we have gotten a big change to the mechanical animal. That is the weapon I want to showcase today. And I think I've got a very powerful combination that I'm sure you will enjoy. So the mechanical animal has got a talent called Future Perfection. Now, previously, the difference was is that you would only be able to stack up to three skill tiers. Now it is four. And when you actually increase a skill tier, the efficiency of the skills goes up immensely. It also depends on which skills you choose, though. If you're going to go for like a, a striker drone or a turret, you got to keep in mind that if you just stack skill tiers, it doesn't scale as well as some other skills. That's why I haven't chosen to showcase like uh, the turrets and things like that. But you can definitely do that. You can use an all red build and have up to tier five skills, which is immense using technician specialization and stacking them up. So they'll give you one plus another four, which equals to five. It's up to you. You can go up to six. It depends on what you want. But if you look at something like this, for example, every time we go up a tier, it's not really giving you too much out of it. You would need to spec into skill damage on your build. It can work, but I've tried all of the different ways with the full red build because that's what I wanted to do. Dish out huge damage with our weapon as much as possible, but have utility with the skills. There are different hybrid builds you can make, and I've made them in the past with the three, the three stacking tiers before, and that's still viable now, even better now. So I will be making hybrid builds, but I wanted to focus on full damage, specifically striker, with stacking skills. I tried a bunch of these and I found the Artificer Hive to be the best with the shield. Because if you guys did not know, if you hold a shield out, when it's da damaged every couple of seconds, the Artificer Hive will automatically heal your shield. You can also increase this with re re repair skills. But with this, if you have a look, the efficiency of it is greatly increased per skill tier. Basically, everything doubles from 100 charge efficiency, 200 skill refresh, 2 seconds, 4 seconds, range 10, which doesn't matter for us. Drone speed, 10 to 20. So if we take a look at tier 5, we're getting 600% charge efficiency. And also with the shield, because it runs off of blues, you can have an extra blue to stack it up. But I've got one yellow from technician specialization, which means we can get up to a tier 5 shield with 200% health and active regen and some wholesome regen which is a powerful combination when you look at a striker build like this. There are many different ways to run it. I mean, you can have an extra blue or an extra yellow, which I would recommend. So with this setup, we have got technician, which gives me one skill tier. Therefore, we can get up to skill tier five for the shield and the artificer hive. I feel like that's a good balance. All red on the build with these and using making use of technician. I don't feel like I need skill tier six, but you can go overboard. But with the way that I've done it now, we can heal almost our shield fully. So you would need to test that for yourself. Now, how I would probably change this if you wanted to go for a little bit more yellows, instead of coyotes, I would go for a Picara's holster with a yellow roll. That could be really good. You get weapon damage as well. Therefore, we can get a skill tier six shield and artificer hive. Then you're gonna be super tanky. But I felt it wasn't necessary, necessary, but it's really up to you. So make sure you give this a try. It is so fun and so powerful with this weapon that has received quite a massive buff actually. Go into a legendary mission, heroic mission, whatever. And you can stand there, your shield can tank loads of, mount, loads of damage. And then every couple of seconds, it's pretty much almost healed instantly. And not just that, but our shield health is increased as well. So you can take that further. There are other pieces that increase the shield health, health also. So there's so many directions you can take a build like this, but all red. This is a typical striker build that I posted the other day. The most efficient one, arguably, for any kind of content, even the lower difficulties. And we can heal our shield and just survive so much. And it'll definitely help players playing solo as well. So make sure you definitely give this a try because it also means you can spend more time shooting the enemies. So you're probably thinking to yourself, well, is it worth trading off the Elmo, for example? I think it can be because with the Elmo, yes, it will be doing more damage. But because we can have damage two tiles out of cover on this weapon, and it's, it's all right, it's decent. It's not the most amazing baseline gun for damage, but we can get some really good DPS. And the fact that we can fire more because we our shield is taking all the damage, we can shoot for more, therefore hitting more bullets. So you kind of have to gauge it for yourself. But I absolutely recommend you guys give that combination a try. And I'm sure you will absolutely love it. So please make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys very soon in the next video. Peace out.